So we'll be still in goals. Full back line, Katie Hart. What are the girls like and what are they getting out of it? Because, I mean, there's so many girls in Cork. They can't all make the, the elite. No, they can't. And, like, I mean, you have you you do trials for maybe the under-16s and minors. You have 300-plus girls coming from trials that's whittled down to 30. It's it's fairly, you know, it's it's, it's not cutthroat, but it is. It's competitive and it's, it is what it is. But for this, the development, and development is the big word, everybody that comes gets to play. There is no trial. There's no cutting. If you come you will be included and you will get to play. There'll be no judgment on you. You're never on trial. And that can be hard on a girl. Oh God, will I get dropped? Will I get called back? That doesn't exist at development. And you know what? They flourish underneath it because that pressure sometimes of, oh, what do they want me to do? As opposed to go out and play football, go out and enjoy it. And you know, if you're doing something wrong, we'll develop it, we'll change it, we'll improve you. And you know, you'll get something out of it. As a coach, have you had to sort of step back from the ways that you usually coach? And is that a good thing? Um, yeah, I think definitely whatever. But the coaching, like the skills are still the skills of the game. I suppose the way you are on a sideline definitely changes dramatically. Do you know what I mean? Like you find yourself, it is about encouragement. There, there, it has to be about pushing the girls onwards. You know, there's no such thing as a mistake. No girl ever goes out to make a mistake. No girl means to drop it, kick it wide, etc. And it is about just encouraging and trying to give enough encouragement that the girls will eventually flourish underneath it. And you do. And look, I know at underage levels they have these silent sidelines and all those kind of things. That you know, maybe it isn't the worst thing in the world to let the girl and then make their own mistakes. And you know what? Without being put under pressure, they'll learn from it and they'll develop and they'll they'll improve upon it. You know. Does that mean then that more girls will actually stay in ladies football, not just the ones who stay because they get on the, the, the county teams, they get selected or whatever? Yeah, I think I think this is a vital age group. That that 16, 17, 18 year old girl who tend to give up for sport. Um, they leave school, there's no school team maybe anymore. They're not after getting a game, you know, with their adult clubs. And they show them that there's more to it than this. You You have things developing like mothers for others and and these development squads and then a lot of the colleges now have second and third teams that it's not always about winning an all ireland it's about having sport for life having fitness for life and having friends for life you know that 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 that, that girls will make friends here today they'll swap snapchat names and and they'll be in contact with girls from tyrone and galway and wherever else it is and they might never meet them again but there's a, there's a network all of a sudden, and who knows, you might end up in UCC or UCD. Oh God, I played in that development blitz in, in Abbottstown two years ago. Were you playing? Yeah, I was, and so on. You know, so there's that aspect to it too.